Hey guys, welcome back to F1 Podcast. All right, mate, so let's keep talking about Formula One. Sean Todd's been voted FAA president. Yeah. He's the big man now. And I tell you what, mate, he's going to take a special interest in Formula One because that's his background. Mm. Mm. And you guys all would know what the FIA encompasses. Mm. You know, there's car bodies, there's car clubs, there's all sorts of things. <coughs> but I'll tell you what, Sean Plenty Todd, of them. Sean Todd's mm. going to have a much more positive influence on Formula One than Max Mosley ever had. And I can't wait to see what Sean Todd's going to do. And a lot of people would say, well, the Ferrari influence, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just don't think that he can do that. I, I really don't see how, you know, it would be very obvious if he had any Ferrari bias whatsoever. So I'm really lo looking forward to seeing Max Mosley, you know, pissing off and Sean mm. Todd coming in. You're not, you're not alone there, mate. Mm. Um, yeah, look, and, and I think we have to, um, <clears throat> I think we have to um, acknowledge the good work that Mac Max Mosley did do over his tenure as the FIA president. Because he did a lot, and he did a lot for safety. Uh, I mean, he did. Yeah. Let's you know, let's let's not forget that. But let's let's move on. Um, we've now got Jean Todd. Uh, personally, I would have, I was gunning for Ari Vartanen, um, primarily because I just like saying Ari Vartanen. It's easier to say than Jean Todd. <laughs> um, but um, you know, Jean Todd's now been voted in. Uh, Ross Braun is a, you know pretty much ecstatic about the fact that his old um, boss is. Uh, is FIA president. Um, is he a clone of Max Mosley? I guess time will tell. Um, he's come out when he uh, accepted the role and he came out for his press conference. He said the right things. He said exactly what you ex would expect. Yeah. Uh, he was always going to get more reason. votes, I think, Max. You're right. He always came out and said the and right he things. annihilated Barton in the votes. Yeah. Absolutely killed him. Barton was shocked about how much he lost by him. Um, so obviously he he is the man for the job, and being in a democracy, mate, you know, yeah, what happens happens. I think that Jean Todd will not give any special treatment to Formula One or anyone within Formula One, i.e. Ferrari. I don't think he'll do that, but I think that Formula One will be front of mind for him when he's talking about you know the way that motorsport works and the different mm. ways that mm. you know he can leverage the FIA in Formula, you know, in all the formulas, and Formula One's obviously the pinnacle, so, you know, I think it's a great move. It's someone who's interested in Formula One, running the FIA, and, uh, yeah, go yeah, for it. Someone yeah. interested in running Formula One, of course, so, you know, he successfully ran um, uh, Ferrari for like 12 odd years, or whatever the case may be, or lap. Yeah. Um, and this is a guy that's a, a, formula, a, a world rally champion uh, as a navigator. Um, yeah. You know, so he knows rallying, he knows Formula One, uh, he's taken an interest in other forms of motorsport, no doubt about it. Yeah. But uh, if anyone could do it, it would be Jean Todd. I mean, he grabbed Ferrari by the scruff of the neck and, uh, you know, we all saw yeah. what happened. Um, yes, he, yes, he can do it, there's no doubt about it. But, um, you know, I guess we wait and see the what, what direction he takes our sport. And he also has to negotiate with uh, young Bernie and talk to him about things like the fact that Donington, you know, is it gone? What's happening with the British Grand Prix? Mm. You know, he's going to get involved in all those scandals and all those things that are ha happening in Formula so One should. all the time. Good. And uh, we'll just have to see, mate, how he reacts, you know, what happens with Bernie and things like that. Mm. Just just on that, though, you, you may mention of Donington and, uh, mm. and, and British Grand Prix. Do we need a British Grand Prix? Of course we do. Absolutely right. 100% agree with you. We need yeah. a British Grand Prix. No, no question about it. There's no argument. Like, you couldn't have a world unless your name, is, unless your name is Bernie. Yeah, well, Bernie had a go at the British Grand Prix, but he, he, he is just being deliberately emotive. He's just trying to be a, you know, a bastard. Every year, you know, we all us. know that you can't have Formula One without the British Grand Prix. It's just not possible. Not, not according to this dimwit. But I mean, this is once again probably classic. Classic Bernie yeah, speak. No, we don't need a British Grand Prix. In other words, plow billion, you know, millions and millions of pounds. So I changed my mind. Yeah, uh, it's all brinkmanship with him. But of course, we need a British Grand yeah, Prix. It's ridiculous. As an Australian, it would annoy me if we didn't have a British Grand Prix. Yeah, as an F1 fan, you, know, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, Silverstone is one of the pound for pound 
most anticipated and best circuits in the uh, in our calendar. Yeah. Um, you could argue where the Grand Prix is. Like, do you have it at this circuit? Do you have it at Donington? Do you have it at Silverstone? Do you have it at Brands Hatch? Whatever. Sure. Yeah. But wherever it is, it has to be that. It has yeah. to be one of them. You know, Absolutely. you have to have a British Grand Prix. And preferably, let's leave it at Silverstone. Let's <laughs> hope that common sense prevails for for once. And uh, we have the 2010 British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Fingers crossed that that is going to be the case. No doubt about it. Mm. No. Max Force, what have we got? So what have we got, mate? I we, think um, we've done it all, mate. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. There's a long list there. There is a long list. And this list. video is probably going to be chopped up into like smaller Itty little Itty bitty bite size, yeah. eaty eat chunky pieces. It's probably going to be that, that size. But as we record right now, we're waiting for the last race of the season to start and that's it guys for this uh, 2009 season it's and 25 past four here in sydney on sunday afternoon and there's uh one more race to go mate oh man don't get emotional on me <laughs> you know don't cry or anything yeah no, but one race i always know how the winters pan out like you know you're just waiting for the next race there is no race and it's not good the winters yeah. aren't good mate no they suck Alright guys, well we're going to have more videos in the off season, enjoy the last race and we'll see you soon for the next video. Alright guys, see ya. See ya, bye. bye.